Hello everyone, parrot lovers. My name is Marlene McCohen and today I want to talk to you about Josie, who is approximately a 45 year old Amazon parrot. I say approximately because we don't know her exact age, but she has been with her previous owner for over 30 years and her previous owner knows that she had been with somebody else for at least five to 10 years before that. So her age is an estimate, which is very common in the parrot world. Now, of course, we did do this on a live and a lot of you got to ask all of your questions live, but I wanted to make this video kind of summarizing most of your questions so that I can get you guys the answers right away. Because as you know, lives can be very long and uh, I wanted to give you some quick answers. What is her name? We should go over her name really quickly because in the first video where the owner talks about her bird, you guys could go back and watch this in the vlog. This is Jose. She mentions that she calls the bird Hosey and Jose. But since I feel like she's a female and I feel like none of those names roll off the tongue, I just go with Josie because it's spelled kind of similar and works. I don't know, like Hosey doesn't roll off the tongue for me. It's like really hard and Jose just doesn't seem right. So I go with Josie. It felt like the best compromise. What kind of Amazon parrot Josie is? So Josie, if you look at her coloring, you'll see that she is a yellow naped Amazon, but you'll also notice that she is extremely large. Like look at her on my shoulder. I was actually fascinated by how many of you could tell how large she was from my life, especially in reference to remembering how big my other birds were. Is she a male or a female? A uh, good question. As you guys might notice, I have been calling her a she because although I did not DNA test her, there are some clues that would indicate to me that she might be a she. One way besides DNA testing that you can kind of get a clue if a bird is a male or a female is the way they get stimulated. By the way, do not stimulate your bird, but sometimes they will come and attempt and you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what you're doing. And the way in which they attempt or the way in which you notice like that is, um, can give you a real big clue if they're a male or a female. Uh, for example, uh, male birds will tend to like try to perch themselves on you and you know, get stimulated from underneath and female birds from their back. I haven't seen her in that situation, but I remember when she was dropped off, he had mentioned something about like the father and how the bird loved to cuddle him and would kind of like, um, you know, just the way he described that, I was like, oh, she's probably a female. Also, this is never 100% the case, but she does love male energy. And I would never go so far as to say that female birds always love males, male human beings and male birds love female human beings. But a lot of the time in our case, it seems to prove itself to be kind of accurate a lot of the time, um, but it's not a 100% guarantee. I'm just looking for clues. I do want to DNA test her. I think that would be absolutely fascinating and I think we should do that. Let me know in the comments if you want us to do that. Did she find a home? I bet a lot of you are wondering that and here is the answer. I don't know, here's why. The person that I was going to give her to before I accepted, I tried to kind of find the right home. The person that I wanted to give the bird to would have been a perfect candidate for an Amazon parrot. She had previously had an Amazon parrot. She owns a vet clinic. She's amazing with animals. Um, she missed her Amazon parrot immensely. However, Josie loves men. Josie seems to only thrive when men are around. So I didn't feel like it was the perfect candidate because she is single and um, there are no guys in her life and she works a lot. So although the bird 
could go to work. This is also an older bird that I feel like I don't know how so much in and out and stress would be for the bird. One thing that did happen in the video, if you guys wanna check it out, at the end, my brother did steal Josie and since then, Josie is obsessed with my brother. He is her favorite person. She absolutely adores him. Since they have already three birds, it's almost like we have a shared custody situation. Um, when he goes out of town, he drops her off. Sometimes, you know, he drops her off in the midweek and then he'll come back and I'll see on the cameras that he just stole her back. So she's kind of been going back and forth. Which brings me to the question of, does she get along with other birds? So Josie has kind of been in somewhat of a quarantine. When she's in our house, she is in a separate location, mostly because we've been working on building a bird room and I can't wait to show you guys that reveal when it's all done. So the birds have been moved from where they normally are so that we can kind of work on the bird room and we were also painting a little bit and I didn't want the birds to be near any of that. And when Josie came, uh, there happened to be a big cage downstairs that didn't fit in any of the rooms. Like we can't put it in any room that the birds are in because it's too big to get in the door. So Josie's been in that cage. One problem with situations like that is that the bird kind of then can become very territorial and assume that they are the only bird and then they might not not get along or they might get jealous of the other birds that you have. This happens a lot when you quarantine birds because you're not really introducing them into the flock right away. So they can be like, wait, who are these guys? I thought we were alone. I thought it was just me and you. And then suddenly it's like buzzkill. There's like a one or a bunch or more other birds that they have to fight for your attention with. Josie has displayed a little bit of behavior like that. She's actually quite nonchalant. She's quite chill. She doesn't like go in for the kill. She's not aggressive, but I have seen her just sit and chill on her cage or on a stand with my brother's Amazon parrot, Lucy. But if Lucy is getting the attention from my brother that Josie is jealous of, then she gets really upset. And um, that's been a development that really indicates that she has kind of found her person. Another new thing that has happened is we went away. We've been away for a month for my brother's wedding and my birds and his birds had a bird sitter. You guys know Ty from my previous videos. Ty was babysitting my brother's birds and I got the news that Josie absolutely fell in love with Ty because, you know, he was there at their house and able to give Josie a lot of attention and she would get extremely jealous of Lucy and run towards Ty. Um, I actually consider those kind of things developments because they're feeling comfortable expressing, you know, their love, their jealousy, their anger, uh, you know, the freedom to express those things. When a bird is not comfortable, they don't claim their territory, they're more timid and, you know, upset about things. Does she miss her owner? I covered this in the live. Um, listen, I think that if a bird came from a good home, and she did, there is no doubt that Josie is missing her owner. And to be honest, it would be so easy to look at the development she's made and be like, she's fine, she doesn't even miss her. But we have no evidence of how they feel inside. We only have the evidence of how they react to the current things. What I do know is that like, if you put all the clues together from the video of Josie and her owner saying she really likes her cage, doesn't mean that she kept the bird in the cage. The bird probably came out a lot, but also from the evidence that she absolutely loves and prefers men, I would say that when the previous owner would try to get her out of the cage, she would be a little territorial and prefer to stay in the cage because she does that with me, even though her cage is open, she prefers not to step up off of it but when my brother comes or George she will so I'm assuming from that clue she probably did that to the previous owner and I also heard that she loved Brew if you guys remember Brew from the video Brew's father 
originally and he had since passed so she could have been hurt over that as well and when you put all of those clues together and then you see how she interacts with my brother and how she cuddles him and loves him and like eats with him the way she is regarding her behavior i'd say she's having a pretty interesting life like a, a pretty interesting phase two in her life where she's probably getting a lot more interaction than she has before maybe not so much attention um i, I don't know uh, it wouldn't be fair to say but definitely a lot more interaction and inclusion in regular activities and also being 45 years old and we don't know how long she has left um, these birds could live 60 years 70 years she could be overweight and you know relatively unhealthy and live a shorter life there have been amazons known to live like almost 100 years but either way it's just one of those things where you just want to give this older bird like such a good rest of her life like such good interactions you know so um that's the goal here with Josie what is her temperament I know a lot of people would ask that she's actually very calm and very chill as you can see uh, she can kind of be cranky. She's the kind of bird that like if she doesn't want to step up, she doesn't want to step up. She won't necessarily bite you. She won't necessarily ever go at you aggressively. So she's calm. She's chill. She's nonchalant, but she's like cranky. She's like, I don't want to step up. You know, if she doesn't want to do something. She's going to let you know. With my brother, she's very cuddly, very loving. She's always got her head up on his face, loving him. So I would say that overall, she's like a really chill bird you know chill with a little bit of crankiness but also she's new to the household so you have no idea how much she might assert herself and how bossy she might become later because you know birds can be like that does she talk oh my god she says hi bird especially when you have food and she wants it um she makes a whole bunch of other noises i'm still learning the noises that she makes i sometimes hear things i never heard her say before she talks mostly when she's around men she's absolutely in her glory when there is a guy around she's not talking shy she's not afraid to talk in front of people right now i don't remember everything she says the cutest thing is definitely a hi bird hi hello and as you guys might have seen the short that i made where I'm asking you guys to help me figure out what she's saying. It's like she watched football and she'll say, let's go football. So that's another thing that she says. In the earlier video that the owner made, she mentions that Josie says pit bull, but I actually think it's football of sorts. Um, when I asked Brew, her son, if his mom watched football, he said, yes, she does. So I really think it's a football reference. What does she like to eat? Uh, as with most Amazons, Josie is not food shy. She loves to eat. In the beginning, she wouldn't really take things from me. I think in that first five days, she was kind of depressed. If you watch in that video, it took her about five days to start speaking. So in the beginning, a lot of the foods I was trying to give her were not working. But now she'll eat almost anything. I mean, you can give her all kinds of vegetables, all kinds of fruits, whatever, you know, good grains. She's into that as well is she cuddly yes she cuddles with my brother and she was cuddling with my sister there a lot too she is a very very sweet personality um she loves to lean into your face she's just the cutest bird what is my favorite thing that she does my favorite thing that josie does would have to be hearing her talk because actively I haven't seen her do anything very specific. She's not the kind of bird right now that if you let her sit on the table, she's gonna move around and get into things. This, this bird's a little bit lazier, probably, you know, a little bit overtired. She's older, like as far as actions, I haven't seen a lot, but as far as talking, I'm very entertained by her talking. It's really the cutest thing. How does she smell? like the best kind of musky Amazon in the world. For those of you that have never sniffed a bird, birds a lot of times smell like baby powder, flowers, amazing things like that. But Amazon smell like, like musk, you know, like a men's musk cologne. That's what they smell like. Has she had any behavior developments? Um, 
So it's kind of hard to explain to you guys. I hope you understand like what I consider to be behavioral developments. And that's usually when a bird that's like shy or timid or, or any other kind of behavior, like when they start changing, when they start taking initiative, when they'll come off of their cage, whether it's walking down or flying to you to hang out with you, when they get their confidence in the house and when they start like learning how to adjust to the family, um, the most recent development I have heard of with her is her choosing to come off of the cage to be with Ty who was babysitting her. Before that, the most recent development was her coming out of the cage on her own to greet CO and Danny when they came home. Because in the beginning, you know, sometimes these birds, they're just territorial. They don't want you to take them out. But also by showing that like, hey, you're home. I want to just like come out because like her cage is open. Then, you know, they're saying like, hey, I'm showing you little by little that I do want to be with you or at least be around you or at least be active and free when you are around. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, I'm facing a window and the lighting was really good and it's getting dim. So before I end up making this video in the dark, I'm going to let you go. But I really enjoyed giving you guys this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions about Josie, put them in the comments. So happy to be back with you guys. I love you. Bye.